Hey, welcome to Calvin's Got Came Christmas Edition 2016. I got a special guest with me here, my son Brody, who we are going to give you our top five. I'm going to give you my top five. He's going to give you his top five in no particular order. But we're going to give you our stocking stuffer games that we think people would like. And to prove that they were going to stocking, we put them in a stocking for you so that you'd know they'd fit. So if you're looking for a game to go in a stocking, I think you'll check, like these and check those out. All right, I'm going to start first. Is that okay with you, Bruni? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to start, and let's see what we got. Welcome to the Dungeon. Welcome to the Dungeon is by Yellow Games from two to four players, and it plays in about 30 minutes. Guys, this game is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. It's a pressure luck game. You're going to go through a dungeon, and what's going to happen is each person is going to go through and put monsters in that dungeon, or if they keep a monster out, they get to take one of your weapons or, or armor or shields or whatever else that you have away. And what will happen is, is the last one who doesn't pass will have to go through the dungeon. And if they don't make it through the dungeon, then they're going to lose a life. And after you lose two life, you're out of the game. This game's not very hard. It's not hard to teach. It's kind of fun. I think you'll enjoy it. Give it a shot. Welcome to the dungeon. Okay, so first I have Farkle. It's a dice rolling game. You take a lot of risk in it. You want to roll the right amount of dice for everything. And it's two to for however many players you want. It normally takes around 15 to 30 minutes. And uh, the goal of Farkle is to get 10,000 points mm -hmm. by rolling the dice. And ones are worth 100, fives are worth 50. And you just have a good time with your family. That's why I like this game. Yeah, that's pretty good, brother. Great. Okay, Brody, what's your next one? My next one is Love Letter. It is a hidden roll game for two to four players. Takes about 15 minutes by AEG. And Love Letter is about trying to get the princess's affection and you want to get your letter to her by defeating the others. So the goal of the game is you draw a card and play a card and with these cards there's special tactics that they use to take out others. Yeah. There's only 16 cards in there, so, but it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, my next game is Citadels. Citadels is a great game. Citadels is by Fantasy Flight. It's for two to eight players, and it plays in about 20 to 40 minutes. This game, what you're doing is building districts, and the first person to build eight districts doesn't necessarily win the game, but he ends the game. So whoever has the most gold is actually the winner. Uh, the gold is added up on the card. It's not actually the physical gold you have, but you do uh, you have hidden rolls in this thing uh, This game is very intriguing uh, It's easy to play It's kind of a little difficult to teach sometimes, but if I can teach it to my 75 year old mom I think anybody can play it and uh, she has a good time with it So I think that uh, this is a great stocking stuffer for anybody that's Citadels by Fantasy Flight Games Okay, so my third game out of the stocking mm. Bang the Dice Game. Bang the Dice Game by DV Gucci. Uh, this game is for two to see eight players. Plays in about 15 minutes. This game is a lot of fun. If you like rolling dice, having hidden mo hidden rolls, uh, this game is for you. The only person you really get to know who it is is the sheriff. And then you're rolling dice and shooting everybody that you think uh, is not for you or they're against you. This game's a lot of fun. I did a video on it if you want to check it out on Calvin's Got Game. Uh, I did a short video on how to play it and what comes in the box. If you'd like to check it out, go do that. Um, Bang the Dice Game by DV Gucci. I think you'll really enjoy this one. Okay, next I have Get Bit. So, the goal of Get Bit is you have cards numbered to seven and what you need to do is you need to play your cards 
secretly so no one knows, and you're all in a line in front of the shark. And whoever has the lowest card, their person moves first, and so on and so forth. But if say you have a one and then everyone else has two, three, four, then you're going to end up back at the front because everyone's moved ahead of you already. So this game is by Mayday Games, and it's 20 minutes and three to six players. Get bit. It is a lot of fun. It's a great family game. Okay, Brody, what you got next? Okay. My next game is by Skybound Games. Super Fight. The goal of Super Fight is to combine two cards to create some kind of being with some kind of special power. It ranges from everywhere from robots to Miley Cyrus and laser vision or can't breathe underwater, which is normal, right? So... It's three to ten players, plays in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And it has various expansions with it, anime expansions, all kinds of them. And it just gives you different opportunities to do with the cards. And it's really fun to use your imagination and create different things to beat your opponents. It's a really weird game, isn't it, bro? Mm-hmm. That thing, man, it's... And you're voting on who's going to win. That's kind of crazy. So, you know, it's it, you better make sure that you make friends also. Anyway, so my next game, let's see what's in here. Rook. Rook the card game. Rook is by Hasbro. This game is a two to six player game. This is a trick taking game. If you like those style games like spades, hearts, anything like that, you really enjoy Rook. I've, I've played this game many a times. Um, I probably own about six copies of this game. Um, I'm always wearing out the cards, so I always keep the old ones as well. But this is a card game that I think every family should own. It's a great little stock of stuff. You can find this game at any big box store. Uh, Rook by Hasbro, excellent game. Okay, last but not least in my stocking. Lost Legacy, the Starship. This game is kind of like Love Letter. Uh, it's got the same concept. It's got 16 cards. It's You get a card, you'll draw a card, play a card. It, but this game right here has two sections to it. First, you'll have the draw a card, play a card uh, section. And then after that, if all, after all the cards are drawn and played, if there's anybody still left in the game, uh, you'll get to try to find the Lost Starship. There are other ways to find the Lost Starship in in the game that you can win if you're the spy or, or the thief I think it's the spy but anyway this game right here Lost Legacy the Starship also by AEG uh, two to four players great little game I think you'll enjoy it check it out what's your last one Brody? Left Center Right it's a very simple game made by Spin Master and with Left Center Right you start out with three tokens and each person has these three tokens and you roll three dice. Each die determines what you do with those three tokens. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Left, center, right is where your tokens are going to go unless you roll a whole circle, which would be key. Or star. Star would go to the, the middle. middle. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, that's left, center, right. That's Brody's top five. My top five. My stocking's empty. Um, guys... I thank you for watching Calvin's Got Game. I hope this helps you. If you got some gamers in your life, you're looking for some stocking stuffers for them, I hope this helps you. Uh, I know we had a good time making this video. I hope you enjoy watching it. Please share, subscribe, like this video, comment. Brody, you got anything you want to add? I'm good. Hey guys, thanks for watching.